Hello YouTube, so today I'll be continuing on in the tutorial series and today we will be learning user input. So essentially what user input is, is you get the user input and then we're going to output the user input. Now what's important to do here is you need to realize what variables are and I'll just be going over a very quick introduction on how variables work. So starting off, let's just review what we learned last time. We do c.println, which is a reference to the console, so we do c.println and then in here Let's input please enter your name. So this will output please enter your name. Now what we have to do is we actually have to get the user input. So we're going to declare what's known as a string. So a string is essentially a series of text using brackets as shown here. This is an example of a string. So to, to, to declare a string, we type in string with uppercase s and let's call it user input and let's just do it equals nothing. Uh, later on we'll learn how to make this more optimized by using a single line but for the purposes of tutorial we'll continue like this. So user input equals c dot read line. So basically what this does is it gets the user input and it sends it to this variable. c dot read line again accesses the console and it does read line so it reads the user input line. Now is there a c dot print line and let's output user input. And let's try this. Okay, please enter your name. Horatio. And it outputs Horatio. Now let's make this a little bit more complicated. Quote, your name is quote plus this. Will this work? It does work. Here's the explanation. So essentially you have two strings here. You have your name is because it's sounded by quotations and plus. So this will concatenate it. It's called a concatenating operator plus user input. Later on you'll learn that you can also use this for numbers but when Java detects there's two strings it'll automatically concatenate them. Here user input will call the user input variable and it will output what the user input is. So let's try this once again. Please enter your name Horatio. Your name is Horatio. Okay. So this is essentially how user input works in Java. Now let's just try using an integer but I'll go over more on the variable types in another video. Let's, let's also declare int age equals zero. So basically what int age means is basically the age of the user. So let's try this. So c.print line, please enter your age. And then we do age equals c.read int. Now, read int. Once again, c to console, read int. What readint does is it reads an integer and not a line. So that's a very important concept to understand. And we do see that print line each. Please enter your name ratio. Please enter your age 13. And now it's 13. Again, we can do similarly here. Your age is plus age. And it'll output your age. Now, later on, we'll be learning how to error trap this. So, if I enter a ratio here, my age, I enter a word, the program will crash. So, we're going to learn more about these, the, these different aspects in later videos. So, now let's just sum this all up in one single output statement. See how pertinent your age is? So, we're going to make it like this. We're going to say, hello, plus name plus user input, plus your age is, plus age. Please enter your name, Horatio. Please enter your age, 15. Hello, Horatio, your name, age is 15. Let's do plus years, space, here. And this will output, Horatio, please enter your age, 15. Hello, Horatio, your age is 15 years old. If we want to add a blank line, there's two ways to do this. You can do print line like this with nothing inside the brackets, and then I'll just simply add a blank space between the age here. So we put it here. And there's another way to do this, but we'll learn this in later videos. Uh, you can add a backward slash n here. But we're going to be covering that over in separate videos. 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for future videos to come. Thanks.